Hey everyone, this is Certified High Performance Coach Michelle Weimer here. And uh, today on our Facebook Live, I want to talk to you about being free. So, you know, last week was um, the 4th of July here in the U.S. And it's all about our freedom and our independence. And part of being free is not just about, you know, um, our freedom of speech and things like that, but it's about being free to be ourselves, to be who we really are without feeling ridiculed or without feeling um, judged. And I know that in our world, there's actually a lot of judgment and there's a lot of ridicule and there's a lot of things that happen where we are often feel like we can't be free to be ourselves. And I really think that's it's very unfortunate um, because we all ought to feel like we can be free. So what I, what I really want to get to today is the thought that being free to be yourself is actually a gift that you give yourself. It's actually, you know, something that has to start from within. And again, I know that sometimes we're judged or sometimes we are um, looked at or fingers are pointed at us. But the reality is when we're when we give ourselves the freedom to be who we are, when we can be proud of who we are, when we can stand up and, um, you know, speak our mind. Yeah, maybe you're going to get judged. I mean, it could happen. But the reality is when you're giving yourself that freedom. That's something that can't be taken away from you. Maybe you're judged. Maybe somebody talks about you. Maybe somebody, you know, has a comment about that. But you don't have to own that. You don't have to allow that to affect you. You don't have to accept their judgment. If you are proud of who you are and you accept yourself, that makes all the difference in the world. So think about this, right? Um, you know, ask yourself, how free do you feel right now in your life? How free are you to be yourself in your personal life, in your professional life? Um, do you surround yourself with people that allow you to be your true self? Um, and if that's not happening, you know, whose fault is it? Do you blame others? for your lack of freedom? Do you blame others that you can't be yourself and be proud of who you are? If that's the case, I'm gonna challenge you right here, right now, because that's on you. You have the choice to give yourself that gift of knowing that you're enough, that who you are is enough, that the person that you are. Now, again, here's, oh, let me this side note. If you're not happy with you, you are, if you're truly not happy, maybe you have um, some places you're struggling and you're not where you want to be in your life. That's different. Those are setting goals and those are making changes in your life because you want to make them, not because you think that who you are is not enough or, um, you know, that that you're not accepted by being who you want to be. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying, you know, of course, if you have goals, if you have things you want to strive for, if you have bad habits that you want to change, then by all means, work on those to be the best version of yourself. But give yourself that gift to be free, to accept who you are, where you are right now in your life. Sure, keep growing, keep improving, but accept yourself first. That's the first step. Once you accept yourself for who you are, then believe that who you are is enough. Again, it doesn't mean you're not striving and you want to become a better version of yourself. That's wonderful. I mean, I think we all ought to be doing that. Every day I strive to be the best version of myself that I can be. And sometimes I don't make that. You know, I don't hit that mark. Some days I have a bad day. I'm grouchy or I'm not as, as pleasant as I could be and maybe not as productive as I could be. Maybe I don't eat as healthy as I could that day. But every day we have the opportunity to practice being the best version of ourselves. But what we know at the core, what you ought to know at the core, and I want you to really hear this, you are enough. You will always be enough. It's in you. You just need to practice being that best version of yourself. But the first thing to do is, again, give yourself the freedom to be who you are, to own your quirks and your shortcomings and your silliness. Um, I have a friend who always says, let your freak flag fly, because when you do, the people that you're intended to connect with, the people who are like you, that get you, that love you for who you are, 
it that freak flag yours is like a beacon in the night they see it they know it and they can connect to you but when you're pretending to be somebody you're not all the time you never feel that close connection that you do when you're really showing up and being your true self. If you really want to connect with people who are like you, if you want to find your tribe, you got to be yourself. So my challenge for you is give yourself the freedom, give yourself the gift to be yourself, to accept yourself first and foremost as who you are, to believe that who you are is enough, and to keep putting yourself out there, being the best version of yourself every single day, no matter what. Hey, people are gonna judge you, it's gonna happen. But those who love you because of who you are, when you are your true self, those are connections that are just magical. So keep being that best version of yourself. Keep being yourself every single day. That's my challenge for you. I wanna thank you for joining me today for this Facebook Live. And um, if you're struggling to be yourself, if you're starting to have the courage and the confidence to be yourself, or if you know that you want more, you wanna be a better version of yourself and you know you're not quite there yet, I would love, love, love to help you. So I wanna encourage you and invite you to join me for a strategy session. And I'm gonna put the link in the blog or in the post that goes with this video today so that you don't even have to uh, type it in. You can just click the link. So be sure you look in the post with this video um, and click it, get signed up. Let's talk. I would love to help you be yourself. I would love to help you be your best true you. And it is not impossible. I'm gonna give you the gift of having the confidence and courage to be that person, because when you do that, your whole life changes. So until next week, thank you for joining me again. Look for the link in the post with this video. And until next time, again, this is Certified High Performance Coach Michelle Weimer. Bye for now.